Hi there, I'm Ben. Today we're going to be assembling Burpar Medium Oak Arms in a full grid. Now, I'm just going to be going through these instructions that will come with your grid from step 1 all the way to step 8. For starters, step 1A is going to be attaching hinges to the wooden arms. If you purchase metal arms, just see step 1B of your instructions. Alright, we're going to start with our left arm here. It's labeled L for left. And then we're going to take our A hinge, which is our left hinge, and apply it to it. Where these grooves are on the wooden arms is going to be the back of your futon chair arms. So, wherever these grooves are, that's going to be the back side. I'm going to be doing this backwards so you guys can all see. First off, we're going to take our hinge A and place it over the holes which are located on the arm. Just like that. Make sure the holes line up. Now, just as the instructions state, we're going to take a medium bolt F, then a black lock washer, which is uh, part number N, or letter N. Then we're going to take a large silver washer, which is part letter H. We're going to line it up in the holes here, just tighten this down. Then you're going to take your Allen wrench and tighten this up. You don't want to tighten it too tight, otherwise it could strip the bolts, but just tight enough that you know that the hinge is going to be secured on there. Alright, now we're going to put the backside bolt in. Again, medium one inch bolt, then a black lock washer, then a large silver washer. By the power TV, I'm going to be using this drill for all these in, uh, drilling all these screws in. Uh, for you, you might just have to use the wrench. It's going to take a little bit longer, unless you do have a drill like this. All right, now that that's complete, your left hinge is done. So we can set that off to the side. Now we're just going to do the right one. This is the right arm here. Label letter letter R. Now we're going to take our hinge B, do the same thing, place it above the bolts where the engravings here is going to be the back side. Again, one inch medium bolt, black lock washer, large silver washer. Right in the hole there. Same thing on the back side of the hinge. Alright, now that's complete, we're going to move on to step two here. This is uh, going to be assembling your stretcher rails. Now, your stretcher rails are the four long metal pieces that come with your, your grid. So you're going to need those, and you're also going to need these T-connectors. As step two states here, assembly of front and back stretch rails. So we're going to start by inserting these rails onto the T-connector. Now the T-connector looks like a U-shape like this. And you're going to face that towards you. And then on these stretch rails, there's going to be a hole on one side like this. So make sure that hole is in line with the front hole on this. Just slide the T connector right into the rail. Like so. Then take another rail, wherever the hole is, make sure that's facing you. Attach that in there likewise. Now you're going to take two of your letter S bolts, which is your shortest bolts that you have, and you're just going to put those in to the holes to connect the stretcher rails to the T-connector. Be careful not to over tighten these ones because it could damage the stretcher rail and also strip the screws. Alright, now this is one of the rails, doesn't matter if it's going to be front or back, you're just going to want to do the same procedure here for the next ones and then we can move on to the next step.